In this video, we will learn how Python works. But before directly jumping onto the main topic, first let us see what Python actually is. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, Python is an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language. We will see each of the technical words one by one. Okay, so first of all, interpreted. What is interpreted? Suppose you write a code. Suppose you write a code of five lines. Now what interpreter does is it will take the first line and execute it then it will take the second line and it will execute the second line then the next line and will and it will execute the next line so what interpreter does is it executes your code line by line now let's come to the second technical word that is high level high level language basically is the language which can be understood by us by us means by humans it cannot be understood by the machine it's written in such a way that it is understandable by humans not the machine as and the machine language is uh, in such a way that it cannot be understood by us but by the machine now the third technical word is general purpose programming language to be very specific python is mainly used for data handling you must have heard that python is extensively used for data science and machine learning why because python is very good at data handling that's why it is used for uh, machine learning and data science now we have sufficient knowledge to see how python works so let's see this okay working of python consists of mainly five phases First is source code, second is compiler, third is bytecode, fourth is virtual machine and the last is running code. Now we will see each one by one with some detail. Okay, so first let us see what source code is. Now suppose if I write a simple program of printing an integer 5. Okay, it's a very basic program of just only one line. I just write print bracket open 5 bracket close. This is a simple python program as we are seeing the name of the file is example one and the extension of a source code file is dot py remember the extension of the source code file is dot py now let us see the next phase that is the compiler phase what compiler does is it checks for the syntax error in your source code and at the same time converts your source code into the byte code remember source code is different byte code is different the one which is converting the source code into byte code is compiler on and also remember compiler is also checking for errors for syntax errors suppose if you are uh, this is print bracket open 5 and uh, you forget to close the bracket then it's a syntax error compiler compiler will throw an error in this case now let's go to the next phase that is byte code remember the extension of a byte code file is dot pyc the extension of the source code file was dot py and the extension of the byte code file is dot pyc but what this byte code file is let us see the image you are seeing on the screen right now is a basic is basically a bytecode instruction you, uh, as you saying b e slash x double o d slash x double zero slash x eight three it is basically a bytecode it means instruction to the machine it basically means instruction to the machine uh, we cannot understand it but luckily we have a module called disassembler what it does is it converts the bytecode into human understandable form bytecode is basically instructions now we need to understand what uh, what what is bytecode so this assembler converts the bytecode into human readable form it is basically bytecode but it is in human readable form it is not given to the machine it's for us as you are seeing on the left side of the image i have written the source code it's very simple import this i am importing the disassembler now i am defining a function print 5 inside a function i am just printing a number 5 and then i am calling this dot this print 5 okay from the module i am importing this and then printing 5 passing uh, print 5 function as a parameter now what this assembler does is it will give us the byte code in human readable form so as you're seeing on the right side of the image zero load global to load constant for these all are instructions okay now let's come to the next phase that is virtual machine what the heck is virtual machine so first let us see virtual machine then i will tell you why we are using the virtual machine not our own very physical machine okay so virtual machine virtual see we see the basic difference between virtual and physical is 
इज द रियलनेस बेसिकली फिजिकल इज रियल वर्चुअल इज नॉट रियल ओके सो वी आर यूजिंग द फिजिकल हार्डवेयर डेट इज अ फिजिकल सी फिजिकल लैम फिजिकल डिस्क वी आर यूजिंग द फिजिकल रिसोर्सेज एंड देन क्रिएटिंग अ वर्चुअल मशीन आउट ऑफ इट्स नॉट लाइक द फुल कॉपी ऑफ द फिजिकल हार्डवेयर इट्स नॉट अ फुल कॉपी ऑफ सी इट्स इट्स जस्ट अ बेसिक वर्चुअल मशीन फॉर कैरिंग आउट द एग्जीक्यूशन प्रोसेस ऑफ द बाइट कोड नाउ वाई वी आर यूजिंग वर्चुअल मशीन इंस्टेड ऑफ आर वेरी ओन फिजिकल मशीन देर इज अ रीजन एंड द रीजन इज आर वेरी ओन फिजिकल मशीन कैन नॉट एग्जीक्यूट द बाइट कोड very simple our own physical machine cannot execute the byte code that's why we are using the virtual machine thought of virtual machine as an emulator suppose uh, if you want to play a playstation game in your pc now you cannot play it directly you you can play it by using an emulator same case here you cannot execute your byte code directly you are executing your byte code using a virtual machine now we are on the fifth and the last phase that is the running code when we run our code we get output file remember what was our source code print file when we execute it what we get file now let us see the whole process again okay so we we write a very simple source code of printing a number only five we compile it compiler basically check for the syntax error and at the same time convert the source code into the byte code now the byte code is given to the virtual machine virtual machine can execute byte code our own very own uh, physical cpu cannot execute the byte now the virtual machine executes the byte code and after executing we get the output file as simple as that now if uh, you have any query about this video or there is something that you did not understand then then feel free to ask in the comment so thank you for watching the video and make sure you like subscribe and share